It's safe to say that Hyundai shocked the entire world when they recently revealed their N-Vision 74 car that runs on hydrogen fuel cells. In this video, I want to share a stock and a technology that Hyundai has recently partnered with that could potentially revitalize hydrogen fuel cells in the commercial and automotive spaces, resulting in some massive shareholder value creation if this technology really takes off. But as usual, guys, before we get into it, make sure to drop me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. So first of all, let's start off with addressing exactly what this technology is, what this company does, and how they have partnered with Hyundai to allow them to commercialize hydrogen fuel cells. The company in question is a company called Advent Technologies that is trying to develop and commercialize a high temperature PEM fuel cell that can run not only on hydrogen, but natural gas and methanol without any form of conversion. This is a pretty big deal because hydrogen has historically been very difficult to integrate, especially in the automotive spaces. What Advent's fuel cell allows is to use methanol to be able to make hydrogen on site without needing to store hydrogen as a gas in your truck or your car. And because of the high temperature operation of their chemical components, they're able to achieve a power density increase, which is significantly higher than modern fuel cells. And they're simultaneously able to reduce the platinum loading on the fuel cell by 10 X, which is going to significantly cut the cost of mass production while also increasing the lifetime of the fuel cell itself. And because fuel cells are obviously exothermic devices, operating at a higher temperature allows them to increase their energy energy efficiency, which is exactly why if this technology gets commercialized and brought to the real market, this could be a big game changer when it comes to hydrogen adoption and obviously for the shareholders of Advent. As you can see, the company is officially listed on the NASDAQ with a valuation of around $155 million. Now, I do have to remind you that I have been an investor in this company for about a year, and I've had a relatively small position because obviously the macroeconomic situation has developed to the downside. And when people are fraying about inflation and interest rates, growth stocks are the last thing folks want to invest in, especially for a company that's doing very minimal revenue right now. But my point here is that if you're looking for a high risk, high reward investment opportunity, then Advent is probably the best bet in the hydrogen space right now. They're doing around $8 million worth of sales as a trailing 12 months. And they're also trading at a valuation that's actually not too expensive right now, even after the massive ride the stock has had in June. I had been dollar cost averaging all the way around the $1 region. And it was nice to see that the market is starting to see the potential behind this company. But obviously there are risks and that is something you all need to keep in mind, which is why you want to keep your position size on this business as small as possible, as comfortable as you are. But the really exciting thing here is that Advent's MEA technology is already available in the mass market. And the only thing we're waiting for now is for this technology to become integrated into existing fuel cell systems. And the great thing is that when this stock went public back in early 2021, this company did end up acquiring another fuel cell business called Seren U in Europe. And because of that, they can simply integrate their MEA technology, which is essentially the heart of the hydrogen fuel cell into these existing fuel cell systems and then commercialize them as fast as they can with the 500 employees that their acquiring company has. And the best part is they're not limited just by manufacturing because they can also license this MEA technology out to any company who wants to work with them. And this is where Hyundai comes into play because recently Advent partnered with Hyundai for a technology assessment agreement where Hyundai could potentially commercialize their MEA technology into their own car fuel cell systems. This joint agreement actually led to a lot of rally around the stock itself because it was the first time a small company in the fuel cell space was able to get the attention of Hyundai, which is one of the biggest innovators in the hydrogen space, not only in Europe, but also in Asia with their hydrogen trucks and obviously some of their hydrogen cars. Hyundai themselves have said they're investing in high temperature fuel cells right now because that is exactly what's going to fit their cost analysis in the long term for their fuel cell vehicles. And obviously, Advent Technologies is the only company in the world right now that has this form of fuel cell commercialized. And what exactly could this mean for something like Advent stock? Well, as you can see, since in the second quarter, they only did around $2.2 million in revenue, which granted was a 124% increase from 2021, 
This means that in the next two years, if Hyundai goes further with this joint venture with Advent, they could be significant revenue realization opportunities because obviously licensing fees tend to be very high margin revenue opportunities, especially for tech startups. And this revenue injection does not even account into the fact that the Greek government recently gave Advent around 782 million euro worth of funding for a five year span for their hydrogen fuel cell projects. What these projects are are green hydrogen facilities spread across Greece to reduce their dependence on the traditional natural gas and coal peaker plant system. And Advent was the key technology selected by the Greek government to be able to supply the fuel cells for these projects, which will obviously help achieve their decarbonization goals going into 2025. And given the extremely small nature of this company, that is obviously a very impressive feat, not even accounting for the other branches that this company operates in, like the military and the backup power. But even if we just focus in on the EV side, we already know other businesses are also looking at commercializing hydrogen for some of the higher duty applications like in SUVs and potentially even off road like BMW and Land Rover. Yes, the infrastructure is not there just yet, but at the end of the day, the only way companies are going to be able to create that is by investing in technology and creating demand for it if there is a good use case. And with so many amazing and innovative companies testing out fuel cells, it really goes to show that there is more opportunity in the fuel cell space right now than there is in the battery electric space, because obviously battery electric cars have already come such a long way in the past decade. And at some point, the innovation and the value proposition for those spaces is going to start peaking out, which is exactly where hydrogen is going to step in as a mediator between fossil fuels and electrons. As a matter of fact, one of Advent's fuel cells was actually used in a Renault Zoe a couple of months ago for a project run in France, where they were able to use methanol to power this fuel cell instead of hydrogen, and they achieved a 2000 kilometer range using just one fuel which means that they did not have to refill for almost 2000 kilometers. Meanwhile, they were emitting zero emissions and obviously did not have to store hydrogen using big tanks. And this kind of ability for the fuel cell to run on hydrogen, methanol, or any other e-fuel is exactly what gives this unique technology such an advantage over other forms of fuel cells. And I'm telling you right now, if they're able to commercialize this effectively and partner with the right companies, Advent stock could easily be a 10x in the next five to 10 years, which is exactly why I'm taking my bets right now. But as usual, guys, make sure to drop me a thumbs up if you found some value from this video and let me know down in the comments section below your guys' thoughts on this technology and whether or not it's really worth taking this high risk bet.